Nadia, I think you must have studied chemistry a lot because uh, the basis is technique besides the art. Yes, um, uh, I have a bachelor's degree in physics and chemistry and uh, I found that um, this uh, line, this uh, calling, because it came to me quite late, I discovered um, ceramics relatively recently, less than 20 years ago, and the manipulation of uh, air during the firing process results in the different colors and the different effects on the surfaces. So I find that um, Raku with um, air, water, fire um, marries very much with my scientific background. Uh, as well as my artistic flair. So, yes, chemistry does does a lot, yes. And I think that knowing what actually happens on a technical level helps to, um, helps to bring out um, certain certain aspects that I would like. The risk to see. is yes. calculated, almost. Yes. Sort um, of. Uh, some people like to say that Raku is a happy accident. Because, yes, there is a, an element of uncertainty, um, sometimes even uh, if it's slightly windy on the day when I'm firing, um, the temperature inside the kiln might take longer to, to reach the, the value that I want. Um, even uh, when you bring your piece out, you get gusts of wind hitting the, the pottery piece. So, yes, that, would, that I have no control over. But... Um, uh, with experience, you start to, to learn um, when's the best time to fire and when is the best time to, uh, to, to, to get the results, which uh, I would like. Uh, I heard you say um, that you use sawdust, you use um, seaweed. Yes. It must be a very organic, uh, not, not only the object is organic, but even the process. Is very organic, it seems. Yes. Um, Not uh, only scientific, because naturally chemistry comes in, mm -hmm. but organic in the sense that it is about emotion, about feeling, about sentiment. It's, because in this case, if it's so, both are both you and the Chinese artist, um, the language is about emotion, really, basically. Well, I believe art comes from within you, so of course, sure. um, it, it is quite organic, uh, and uh, that feeling needs to be ex externalized in some way. And for me, it is the the shape of the pots, um, the the color on the surface. I wonder the, the why sides. you call, why you call them pots because there is no symmetry. Well, um, is it because shall of we say tradition? <laughs> no, no, because they are not even containers, some yes, of them. Yes. Really, they are abstract objects. That, yes. Although perhaps you are, you are influenced, you are inspired by nature, but then it is more of a mental process, of a mental emotion, intellectual emotion, not just the heart. No. Um, to me, um, most of my sculptures would be viewed like containers because they, they, uh, you, can, you can hold them and maybe they might contain my emotions, maybe they might contain my feelings, or whoever um, decides to handle the pot um, might, might feel something. In, the tactile in, quality. Yes. yes. Uh, I would like to talk to you about dynamics and Tectonics. Mm -hmm. um, you said it has to come out of you. Even the pot, even the object, must have dynamics. The force within. Yes. But what about tectonics? The art of building it up. Do you build it up like a pot, or do you use spirals? You use coin. Um, my pieces are uh, hand built. Uh, in the sense that I use but coils, but, um, I use flattened coils for, uh -huh. uh, because I feel that the work um, proceeds a little bit faster than if I had to use just rolled coils. So I use flattened coils which I join together 
Um, and more often than not, the, the pot, because I call it a pot, um, would have a particular shape. I would have already uh, envisaged what my final result is going to be. And I also know um, what type of glaze it's going to have eventually. Because if the pot so has a plan, part, yes, so you plan. There's it. some planning going on more, more all the time practically, mm -hmm. because depending on the shape, the inclination of the surface, um, the textures on the surface of the pots, the glaze might perform differently. So I know I know what I want, what my final result is going to be. So with that final result, I have to plan and make sure that the, um, the, the vessel, the sculpture, um, is uh, able to um, express what I want to convey Initially. eventually. Yeah. Yes. Uh, about the perfor because you say they are pots, but really they are not, I mean, vases to put flowers in no. them. No. Uh, so that removes them from uh, function. Yes, in fact, but these yes, could so. easily be Chinese lanterns because mm -hmm. of the perforations, and without even thinking deeply, I think they are very Islamic in the sense that the Islamic window, the Arab window mm -hmm. that we had even in Malta, is usually made up of very small perforations yeah. so that the light doesn't come in, mm -hmm. and <laughs> even the hot air is kept out. Uh, what can you say about despair? Because I think despair might be the most important uh, couple in, in the whole collection. Uh, if they relate also to the first, to the last exhibition you did at, uh, yes. at Mosta, last, which we didn't uh, mention yeah, last a year ago, a year ago, somehow. Yes, last October I had my first solo exhibition. Um, that I have been preparing and very well for presented, it. very well attended, for quite some time, yes. appreciated yes. too. I was very, very. Uh, Did it give you some uh, more uh, pleasure to, to continue to to refresh yourself? Um, How did that affect you? I can't say it didn't affect me. Um, it did. I mean, it was very well. Um, accepted. Um, my works were very well appreciated. Um, and they were acquired too? Yes. People um, wanted them, wanted to acquire them? My work, I feel, is an expression of myself. And using the hand building and the coiling technique and the rough technique results in each piece being completely different from another, so I cannot replicate. What, what, is, the temp what is the temperature of rock? What, what does it reach? Um, it's not like I stoneware. No, stoneware no. is very high. No, I fire um, depending on the... Are they vitreous? Are they vitreous? Yes, depending on the glaze uh, In fact, they look like glass. Yeah. Yes, depending on the glaze components, um, the temperature can go even up to 1,100. So it's not less than... Uh, much less than stone not, not much less than stone but right they now. but they sing they they like bells they yes yes um because the the thickness of my pieces i try to go as thin as possible um in fact when uh, other artists uh, commented on on the thickness of the of the pieces they said how come they don't um, break or explode it must be something that I do to them. <laughs> it must be in the, probably in the building your, technique. Well, probably it's your knowledge <laughs> and, of, of technique. Yes, and as well. And um, uh, experimentation has shown me that um, you need a very good base in the sense that if the hand building te technique is, is uh, solid and uh, with as little flaws as possible, it the, is air, the pot, pockets of air, and pockets so of air um, dryness of the material before you fire. 
um, and even the interaction of the clays with the Actually, cleanliness comes in a lot, eh? Definitely, definitely. And fire helps to eventually clean everything as well. Yes. Um, yes, yeah, so it, it's, it's... What about the idea of land? Of land? Is that I... Uh, yes, I mean, you could, you could also look at them from that sense. But you cannot light them up from inside? No, 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 no. It's no, impossible. No, no. Um, my aim was to have them displayed with uh, light, a light source from from one side, uh -huh. so that you could actually see from through. outside, not yes, from, from outside. Inside. You could see through because um, placing the two uh, the two pots um, slightly, they go together, slightly no? off center from each other, and one could maybe look from the front of one pot all the way through through the second pot and out from the the other one they are that thin yes they are translucent again. no no through the perforations uh, through the perforations, no, no. Through can, the perforations. can you explain because you told me that this is not glaze the, yes so the, the black uh, the black is um, it's like a stain sort of not really no that is yeah. where the glaze hasn't adhered so before so when i it, before i glaze, it is the original yeah before i glaze i mask Parts uh -huh. where I don't want the glaze to so, to, to stick. flow. Yes, um, I spray my uh, my pots. I usually spray glaze them. I don't um, uh, I don't apply the glaze with brushes. Is, is this is this the red that you planned? Yes, yes, the red is it, the red it is that, that I wanted. I wanted a nice vivid red. Yes, for this. Um, it, and do, do you design your works because these are a, a kind of couple? Yes, um, my idea was with pencil that is a design. Uh, yes, I, yes, I do. I do have a sketchbook, mm -hmm. and I uh, I'm all the time putting ideas into it. Um, sometimes even just a, a, a small design will eventually end up on one of my on my sculptures. I use yellow and red for a particular reason for this pair. Um, the red is um, one of the national colors of China, so uh, I wanted to sort of honor my Chinese Focus. counterpart as well. And the yellow uh, is, very, is very vivid yes. and reminds us of the sun. Beautiful with the black. Yes. So they might, you might say this is sunrise and this is sunset. This is Malta and this is China. Mm -hmm. The windows so of awesome. opportunity go from Malta to China and China to Malta. So the, analog the analogy is nice. Um, and the, the surface uh, design, um, uh, m one might say maybe it is the topography of our, our lands. It might be the shape of the coastlines on both, on or the shape of it's the mountain really, ranges. It's very, it's, it resembles um, the tentacles of an octopus. And again, the marine, or the yes, of, yes. of the octopus. The marine, uh, the marine team <coughs> always comes Because surely out. you refer to the sea. Yes, it's, in, in it's your, an influence. Uh, uh, yes, it's an influence. Recaring, recaring. recaring. I would never live anywhere far from the sea, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay.